How strong are new carabiners compared to the exact same ones that are 15 years old? I used to climb and I have quite a few of them. And I haven't purchased any in quite a while. And I'm curious how strong these scratched up carabiners are. So I purchased four of the identical carabiners that I currently have. These are black diamond oval wire gates and these lockers are the rock lock screw gate, both from black diamond. What we're going to do is pull test these on my slack snap machine. This slack snap machine has a 20 to one pulley system that I pulled together from tractor supply and a winch that I got from Costco and a giant aluminum rectangle. So let's find out if there's any difference with these carabiners. So here's our first test. We have an oval wire gate, black diamond, super old carabiner. And I use soft shackles. Uh, we have videos on how to make these in order to break this. And this or just orientates it so the carabiner sits flat. We have two dynamometers to record our forces and one in pounds of force and one in kilonewtons, just so we have both. And let's find out how strong this is. Wow, I'm glad that I put this on a tripod when I break metal. That shit went flying. Uh, you can see how the nose there broke off and the inside of the carabiner. So this carabiner broke at 20.98 kilonewtons, which is almost the 23 kilonewtons it says that the braking strength is, but it is pretty old. And then we broke another one and we got 20.94 kilonewtons. And you can see here how the aluminum is very dull on the inside and that it's very porous when you're looking at it on the inside. These carabiners are breaking the notches. Once those are broken, it stretches so rapidly that it, the spine breaks. And we had the same results on the new ones. We got 20.88 and 22 kilonewtons on the new oval wire gate carabiners, which is basically the same as the other ones. We did get a full 22, which is one more kilonewton than the others, but we did not get 23 kilonewtons in any of these scenarios. Now I'm using eight millimeter soft shackles instead of like a single rope. So that could be putting more pressure on not just the spine, but the wire gate itself. And that could be pulling both instead of just having the force mostly on the spine, which is where the strength is. So the next we did our locking carabiners and our locking carabiners have a MBS, a minimum braking strength of 24 kilonewtons. Our first sample we got was 24.2 kilonewtons. What happens with these bigger locking carabiners is the pair shaped bends inward and then the gate comes off the notch which breaks uh, like the ovals where the spine ends up snapping immediately on our first sample. And it's breaking just a corner of these notches because of the way it's shaped when it finally reaches its maximum breaking, you know, maximum strength we're getting. Our second one did the same thing as the first one. We got 23.98 kilonewtons, but this one stretched before the spine broke as I continued to winch it since it didn't snap immediately. And then we put our new rock lock carabiner on there and we got 18.48 kilonewtons, which is quite a bit lower than, than the ones we were getting. And the gate broke at the notch like the other ones, but then we put another new locking carabiner on there and we got 24.6, which is our highest so far. What was interesting is the gate broke at the base where the pin is. And then it also stretched before snapping. So basically new and old broke the same and pretty close to the MBS, except for that random 18 kilonewton one. Now, I don't uh, generally like the large locking rock lock carabiners unless it's for a personal anchor because it gives you a lot more options on what you can clip when I'm building a highline anchor. But as far as climbing goes, uh, I like having more space in a climbing hanger, especially if I'm doing big walls. Uh, so I like the Camp uh, Photon uh, screw gate carabiner because it's a very, very small nose. You can get two or three carabiners into a single hanger, whereas these you can barely get two, you know, depending on what it is. So it all depends on what you're trying to use on what carabiner is the best. The reason I didn't break these is because, uh, well, I like mine and I don't have that many of them. So Black Diamond does not sponsor this episode. I literally just bought a few brand new carabiners and 
broke a bunch of shit. Uh, that's what we do here at Slack Snap and How Not to Highline. I appreciate my patrons who help get involved. All of our Slack Snap data is available to our patrons and the videos correlated with it. So if you're into break tests and rigging and all the stuff that we're doing here on this channel, please get involved with either $1 per episode or sponsor us with a one-time donation on PayPal. If you wanna see more things like this break and you wanna sponsor a video uh, and you're willing to buy a handful of things for us to break that are new, um, let me know and I'll let you know how you can get involved. One last word of caution is you can't use aluminum carabiners on a Highline rig, especially not to connect your leash because they can come off. It almost happened to me when I saw this uh, when I looked up after a whip. So use rings, master points, even though these are above 20 kilonewtons, uh, and your high lines are only six kilonewtons. They sound safe enough, but cyclic loading can, especially if you have high winds and it's force, 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 force rapidly, it can break the aluminum. Whereas steel takes that like a champ because it bends more. And it's not good practice to use aluminum carabiners on the bolts themselves. We have quick links. I can use six, seven or eight millimeter quick links for my hangers, or I just, hopefully there's glue in, so you can just thread your static rope directly into them. So uh, I know this is a Highline channel, that's why I like to make sure you know that these are really only for your personal anchor when you're Highlining. As big and beepy as these things look, they can break. Therefore, you shouldn't Highline or climb.